If you're a super fan of women's golf, you can't help but love the attractive and inspiring Natalie Goulbis. In the 2000s, she was a golfing sensation and one that millions of people around the world were eager to watch. Ask a lot of younger female golfers what inspired them to give so much to the sport, and there's a high chance that they would mention Natalie. That's how much they were motivated by this woman's determination. Natalie Goulbis's lengthy spell without a significant win was what endeared her more to so many fans, and you can imagine the cheering when she finally earned her first career victory in 2007. Do you know that Natalie has had one of the most controversial golfing careers in the female sporting world? Well, it's time to find out just how controversial it was. Welcome to Golf Links. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get notifications on new video drops. Natalie Goulbis was born to John Goulbis and Barbara Goulbis on the 7th day of January 1983 in California, USA. Her interest in golf started at the age of four. With the backing of her father, who she regularly accompanies to the local golf courses in Sacramento, California, she kept the dream of becoming a young golfer alive and won her first tournament at the age of seven. By the time she was approaching her 10th birthday, she was already breaking par, and phew, we all know how tough it is to do that at any age, so this was quite a big deal. Most prominent golf stars either rode on their parents' wealth, had parents who were professional golfers, or probably had the opportunity to enroll in junior championships. However, in the case of Natalie Goulbis, she grew up without having enough money to help her achieve her dream of playing golf. So while others were off to expensive golf courses or had personal trainers, she had to spend some extra time trying to raise money to fund this dream. At 13, Natalie Goulbis participated in the California Women's State Amateur Golf Tournament and finished as the runner-up to a current professional golfer, Dorothy DeLassen. However, Natalie eventually claimed that elusive victory against this formidable opponent. She claimed the top spot in the same tournament by defeating Dorothy DeLassen in 1997. Her first attempt at the Ladies Professional Golf Association Tour was at 14 in 97 when she started as a rookie. She also participated in golf competitions at the Granite Bay High School, competing in the men's golf team. Yeah, the men's golf team. Of course, this was really strange, and even Natalie acknowledged how awkward it was to compete with boys in school. However, she found it interesting, especially because people began to warm up to the idea and encourage her. L let's move on to how Natalie Goulbis became a professional. In 2000, Natalie Goulbis was awarded a University of Arizona golf scholarship. She met Lorena Ochoa, another LPGA golfer at the Institute. However, Natalie Goulbis left the University of Arizona in 2001 after a single season to become a pro golfer at the age of 18. Barely a few months into to adulthood, Natalie Goulbis gave an exceptional performance at the LPGA qualifying tournament in Florida and finished tied third to gain the 2002 LPGA season card. Despite joining the LPGA with so much promise, Natalie didn't exactly live up to the expectations of her adoring fans. This fantastic golfer spent her first five seasons in the LPGA so close to winning a trophy but never actually getting it. However, in her fourth season, she was ranked sixth on the money list, making more than a million dollars. In the 2005 LPGA Championship, she made it into the top 10 LPGA rankings and other major championships. She remained in the top 10 rankings of the LPGA in the 2006 Kraft Nabisco Championship 2. Her first career victory came in 2007 when she won the Evian Masters in a playoff victory over Zhang Zhang in France. This success meant she walked home with a juicy $450,000. See, here's the thing. Natalie Gould Goulbis may not be much of a golfer with multiple trophies in her cabinet, but she was the poster girl of LPGA. When many people weren't interested in women's golf, she brought publicity and attraction to the LPGA. Natalie Goulbis's extraordinary charm is from her gorgeous looks, and that's why so many of her critics believed that she was a sex symbol. What's shocking is that she didn't even mind the unattractive nickname given to her. She just loved the attention it brought her. You could say that Natalie Goulbis's popularity as a female golfer made many of her competitors jealous. Plus, we all know there isn't so much money in female golf. Now, let's face it, the male category of the golfing scene is way more popular than women's sports. And if you don't agree with me, then mention five famous female golf players. Anyway, Natalie Goulbis had that to contend with. On the bright side, her stunning looks brought media attention and worldwide attraction to the LPGA. And guess what? She took advantage of all the attention she was getting. When she's not working towards a major win on the golf course, she makes her way out there managing other businesses. Her popularity in 
and golf as well as her attractive body landed her so many endorsement deals and made her the most sought after female golfer on the planet. Natalie Goulbis was a superstar in the LPGA and an astute businesswoman. She's a very smart woman too. She knew her golf career wouldn't give her a fat paycheck, so she decided to expand her cosmetic company, handbag firm, and other businesses. Many feel the hype around Natalie Goulbis wasn't worth it because she had only ever won a single tournament, but we think that's not entirely her fault. Natalie Goulbis battled a career-threatening back injury in the past. It took the shine off her promising career. She took some time off the golf course to concentrate on working out, hoping to beat the injury, but that didn't help until she had major surgery to correct her back issues. The surgery was successful and she returned to the golf course where she would keep making headlines and keep her fans entertained. Her popularity secured her an appointment on former U.S. President Donald Trump's Council on Sports, Fitness, and Nutrition. Speaking of making the headlines, Natalie Goulbis eventually decided to take part in modeling shoots. The LPGA is rarely seen as a platform for modeling, but Natalie Goulbis took her game to a whole new level. She did more than just model, she appeared on magazine covers in outfits next to naked. Her appearance led to controversies that many people believed her poor performances in slipping down the LPGA rankings were because of her other engagements outside the golf course. However, she developed a thick skin, and all the criticisms didn't appear to faze her. She was always proud to say she's a marketer and an advertiser and doesn't regret that aspect of her life. In fact, the golfer claims that appearing in swimsuits is a memory she cherishes. If Natalie Goulbis isn't playing golf or doing shoots for adverts, you'll most likely find her hanging out with friends and family. She claimed that she loves hosting dinner parties and sometimes invites close family members and friends to get together. She loves cooking and traveling on tours while attending shows and concerts. Uh, she's also appeared on several TV shows and starred in her own movies like the 2010 Crime Scene Investigation and Women's British Open. So how much is this legendary golfer really worth? According to multiple sources, Natalie Goulbis has an estimated net worth of $4 million. Much of her wealth, we believe, comes from her endorsement deals with the likes of EA Sports, Lexus, MasterCard, Canon, Skycaddy, and Michelob Ultra. However, she also boasts of earnings from her multiple personal businesses too. It's not strange for sports stars to end up with a fellow athlete as a partner. This sporting romance wasn't any different with Natalie Goulbis. She dated Ben Roethlisberger, an American quarterback in the National Football League, and a fellow golfer, Dustin Johnson. However, when her relationship with the duo failed, she met an entrepreneur, Josh Radarmel, and the couple became engaged in 2013. They eventually married that same year. Natalie is happily married to Josh, although they have no children yet. It's been more than eight years, and the golfing star admitted that she and her husband are actively trying to have kids. The lovely couple currently lives in a mansion in Lake Las Vegas in the United States. After more than two decades of actively playing golf, Natalie decided it was time to hang her golf clubs forever. In 2020, she made the toughest decision to quit golf. She really couldn't go on, as her injuries were stopping her from playing to the best of her abilities. According to the golfer, she had to endure a long period of injury relapses, and these have stopped her from being the player she once was. Natalie Goulbis may appear to many people as someone only interested in making money, but we believe that many golf lovers can never forget her name in the game's history. Indeed, she was an incredible addition to the LPGA.